Hey everybody, welcome back to season two of Stronger Yoga Academy. I'm Scott Anderson, and in this video, we're gonna help you learn a better form of downward facing dog called Crouching Cat. So we're here with Ian today, we're gonna to help you with Crouching Cat. Ian's gonna begin in Downward Facing Dog, and I'm gonna explain why Crouching Cat is a little bit of a better option. So Ian plants his hands and he lifts his butt. His legs are straight, he's trying to press his heels down. Now this would be a great stretch for the calves if we wanted to do that right here, right now. I'm gonna give you a better reason to actually bend the knees and lift the heels. But first I want you to notice that when his legs are straight and the heels are pressing down, there's a lot of tension right here through the back of the legs and that can pull the pelvic floor down in which the back kind of rounds. Typically when the back is really kind of rounding here like a, a bridge over water, right? We tend to be looking at the feet. And as I like to say, if you're practicing defeat, you're looking at your feet, okay? So that means that the head is down chin to chest. What I'm gonna have him do to correct this is two things. One, he's gonna look down where sweat would drop off his nose and hit his mat. Another way to think about this at home is think of your mat as a mirror. You'd be trying to look at your own reflection of your face, okay? So what he's gonna do is he's gonna bend the knees. And remember, when the knees go forward, the pelvis can go up and back. Now look how straight his back is. Now look how he's got his lumbar curve again. The other thing is when the knees go forward, he has to lift the heels up a little bit and increase range of motion at the hallux joint right here. When he is more engaged in creating plantar flexion by trying to push down into the balls of his feet, he's engaging more soleus. This calf muscle is full of lots of slow twitch fibers, which helps us build our endurance, okay? So I'm gonna give Ian a break. He's gonna come down to his knees, and we're gonna talk about just a couple of other things really quick. Now, in have you, have you ever heard this? Have you ever been told this? Have you ever said this as a yoga teacher in a yoga class? Downward facing dog is a resting posture, right? Well, sleep is a resting posture. While we're on our mat, we want to make ourselves stronger. We want to increase range of motion and we want to increase motor control of our body. So we want to be active everywhere. There's work to be done, tone to be made everywhere. So when Ian comes back into crouching cat, Here's what I really want you to take away. When we're in downward facing dog, we just have our hands and our feet on the floor and we're just sort of very passively not really doing anything. Instead, as soon as he bends his knees, it should feel like he's trying to tear his mat down the center right here under his chest. Think about your mat being like two pieces of toilet paper with that perforation in the center. And so that means his feet are trying to slide back. His hands are trying to slide his mat forward. And to bend the knees gives him the power to do that. And then notice how much he's tilting his pelvis into an, an anterior tilt. That means he's got his lumbar curve. He's looking down, he's pressing his heart to his feet, but he's not trying to rest. He's trying to tear his mat in half. And he brings his knees down to the floor. Take a break, Ian, because you did a great job and we're done. Think about trying that next time you come into downward facing dog. See if you can bend your knees a little bit and try to tear your mat in half and see how much engagement you get out of your back and how much you correct that pelvic floor, okay? Thanks for watching this video. We'll be back soon with another tip to make your yoga practice stronger. Hey everybody, thanks for checking out this video on our instructional series. If you enjoyed it, please leave us a like, be sure and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're always up to speed on when our new content comes out. We are really passionate about helping yoga practitioners and yoga teachers get stronger in their teaching and in their practice. We've got more great videos on YouTube and lots of great content on our website. Thanks so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.